Yo, what's up, guys? The Mighty Miner has got an emergency nerf in the middle of the season. He is now walking as slow as a snail, which they say is medium speed, but it feels like extremely slow speed. He also got a 5% health buff, so he's going to be tankier, but slower. Uh, he's put on some weight, poor little guy. Actually, poor, not that wouldn't make sense. He's not a little guy. Anyways, he has 3,059 hit points. I think he's still going to be pretty viable in Lava Hound, but... Today, I'm going to be playing with the Barbarians to show you guys what I think is going to replace the Mighty Miner for the best Lava deck this season. Let me know if you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. All right, so first up, we're facing Lil B, and uh, overall, I think we're going back to the Mighty Miner. I think the Mighty Miner is still going to be pretty good against uh, lots of decks, lots of giants and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be efficient uh, offensively as well, but you're not going to be able to pressure as hard with it. Uh, we got Barrel Ice Spirit coming in first, but you got to be kidding me, man. You got to be kidding me. That's the way we're going to start it off. But anyways, the Barbarians are so good against different matchups as well. They are good against every single matchup that doesn't have a Fireball. Um, the, the EQ decks, Lightning decks, Three Musketeer decks, everything you can think of the Barbarians are almost good, as good, or better than the Mighty Miners. So I think uh, if you learn to play them properly, they're going to be an absolute menace of a deck. So we're going to go ahead and drop the Barbarians in the middle here. Now, the, my thinking behind going with this Lava Hound was all we have to do really is just plop that Lava Hound down. He's going to get some nice chip damage. She, sorry, Mommy mommy Lava Hound is going to get some nice chip damage. And uh, see here, we're going to get a lot of damage, and we prevented all of his damage. So ultimately, Ultimately, it doesn't really even matter that uh, we didn't get that much damage. But oh my god, the Lava Hound pups are feasting. They are feasting. Goodness gracious, I did not expect them to do that much damage. But I was going to say, even if we didn't get any damage or just a little piece of damage, this is huge because we didn't take any damage from his bush. Um, I felt comfortable going... Oh my god, okay. This is a freaking religious thing that every single time i hit the record button the notifications start and i swear to you i was browsing tiktok or what actually i wasn't i was on my phone earlier before starting the video and i don't get a single notification my twitter is dead man also go follow the twitter at invader underscore but like seriously dude I gotta turn on Do Not Disturb. You guys gotta remind me to turn on Do Not Disturb. This, this, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, we're just get, we're just manhandling this guy. I don't like that word. We are steamrolling this guy uh, right now, and he's barely gonna get any damage. The Ice Spirit connects somehow. That's kind of stupid. But anyways, we are just going to make sure we take out this princess before we drop down another lava, and we are going to do that. Actually, I'm gonna fireball this real quick. Um, um, yep, okay, and now we're just gonna go with the lava here. Now we can sack that barrel because I'm still in a comfortable damage lead here. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing fine, honestly. I, I'm gonna get ready to Phoenix for his barrels because those do scare me, but ultimately, we don't really have to worry about uh getting damage because he doesn't really have anything to stop our lava. He could he can cannon for a moment and install it temporarily but ultimately this isn't going to do anything because here comes the lava we're going to tombstone and with 10 seconds left we should just have to wrap up this uh goblin barrel maybe get back to another fireball and yeah that'll be that'll be game right there so uh let's get back to one more fireball and end this game right here pretty beautiful win uh i'd say because uh i hate this deck um, I know it's my matchup, and with Barbarians, it gets a lot easier because you can use the Barbarians to counter the, the Mighty Miner and the Goblins, but it's still so satisfying to beat Logbait. I don't care which version it is. All right, going into our next match versus Yo Soy Rick YT. Now, this is a popular YouTuber. He has the Supercell Creator badge on his profile, which means he has over 50K followers or subs. Dude, I honestly can't wait to get hit 50K just so I could put that badge on my profile. That would be like just the ultimate goal, the ultimate peak. So, I mean, we're only we're only 44,000 subs away, guys. You can make it happen. Let's go. Let's get 44,000 subs on this video. Uh, actually, that's I think that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Anyways, I'm just uh, I'm just nervously talking myself out of this matchup because E Giant is very scary. However, the Barbarians are once again going to give you a much better chance at winning this matchup than you would have if you were going to be playing the Mighty Miner. And as you can see, we're going to wrap up this this E Giant and this Phoenix. Uh, I'm sorry, this Dark Prince. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up, and 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 it's like nothing even happened. And we don't really have to worry about cycling back to another tombstone before he gets back to another E-Giant, I don't think. Uh, he does have the skeletons, though, so that's 
little thing to focus about is that he has a pretty fast cycle here with the queen and the skeletons. Uh, but we are back to our tombstone now, so uh, let's see. Let's see if he goes like E giant in front of this, because I want to honestly Skeledrag's fireball. I am going to. I'm going to Skeledrag's fireball. We are going to get the queen out of here. He does lightning, um, but hopefully we can get some nice chip damage uh, here. I wouldn't be surprised if he just E giants under this lava, but we're going to get some nice chip damage just to start off the game. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to balloon as well because I will still have enough elixir to tombstone for his E giant if he wants to go E giant. And uh, he is going to NATO, but we should be able to get some uh, a nice hit before we do. Wait, this is an anti NATO spot. If he NATOs, it's not going to work. Yeah, he has to NATO it back. And so now we're going to get death bombage too. Or what did I just say? Death damage too. I tried to say bomb and damage at the same time. And and dude, his NATO is out. His king tower isn't activated. And this E giant is useless. Let's go, dude. This is beautiful way to start off this game against E giant. And the barbarians are just going to give you such a, a, a like a cop out, dude. They're just going to help you. And he's going to try and get back to another E giant, isn't he? I know what you're up to. We're going to go Phoenix. And we are going to assume he's going to lightning that. We are going to go Barbarians as well here. And he does go with the E-Giant right into our Barbarians, baby. We don't even have to play anything else. That E-Giant is dead. How do you like that, Mighty Miner? Mighty Miner can't do nothing like that, baby. And the egg almost came back, too. That's unfortunate that the egg didn't come back. Let's actually just go ahead and fireball this. I don't want to waste my tombstone. I know I'm up a ton of damage, but I still don't want to take any chances. Let's go Lava Hound here. I'm going to try and get a balloon behind here because I think we could just bum rush him and end the game. What is that E-Giant, dude? He's trying to build up a whole push. This is not going to work out for you, dude. This is absolutely not going to work out for you. We're going to go Zap. We are going to... Why would you queen over there, dude? What are you doing? We are going to go with the... Uh, oh, I see what he was doing. I see what he was doing. Okay, that's fair. We're going to go with the tombstone here. I'm not too worried. We're going to fireball and deal some damage to this queen. Now this queen will die to one more zap. So that's pretty interesting. Let's try and protect this egg. Can this egg come back? The phoenix is coming back, baby. Let's go. We're, we haven't even taken an ounce of damage. We have not taken a single piece of damage right now, dude. This is absolutely insane. Let's go lava up high. Uh, he's thinking the same thing with his E-Giant, but we've got the barbs. We've got the barbs, and I mean, you know what doesn't even matter? I could just like plop down a, a, a tombstone too right now, and I could I could just I could end it. But I mean, we're we're not we're not really worried that much. I mean, the E giant, yay! Poor soul finally got an E giant connection. This poor lad, he finally got it. We just need two more fireballs. And I'm honestly gonna say, you know, the only reason I took any damage at all this match was because I felt bad for him. GG's, good game. We just. Stomp that E-Giant player, and he happened to be a popular YouTuber too, so let's go, dude. All right, we're facing Betapa now. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. He is from my friend, friend, clan. Um, he's a lava player. Friend is a lava player. <clears throat> Excuse me. He plays the uh, Lava Loon Eye Drag Minions deck with the Bomber and the Skarmy, and he is an absolute beast with it. Um, he's going to go lava. We are also going to go lava. <clears throat> I'm thinking, hmm, this is, this is going to be weird i'm gonna go i think uh with the phoenix behind my lava now i don't know what lava variant he's playing so this is going to be a bit tricky but i think we might just have to tower trade here because i don't feel comfortable defending a lava loon with my starting hand and uh let's see what he's got he's got the the skelly drakes coming in here so it looks like he could be playing still either version of lava okay interesting i'm gonna go with the balloon as well because i don't think he's playing lava might he might be playing lava miner is he playing Lava Miner? Yes, he is. Okay, that's uh, it's important to know early on in the game. Uh, we're going to do some big damage over here. I would be probably fine if I took this damage here. We're just going to go ahead and zap. And uh, we're going to take some damage from the flying machine. Actually, I'm just going to Skelly Drags here. I don't want to lose this whole tower. Um, we're going to get really close, but as long as I don't give him the pocket. Wait, does he take that whole tower? That's unfortunate if he takes that whole tower. That was not what I wanted to happen there. And he doesn't. Okay, good. So um, the important part about having the pocket opened up for him is he can flying machine in the pocket. He can stop my air counters in the pocket. So as long as I can prevent him from going with the... Uh, stuff in the pocket uh, uh, for as long as i can that's ideal here and now actually i think we're going to try and save the phoenix for defense but let's see how we can um how we can make this thing work real quick though let's go phoenix behind here um yeah, I'm going to go Phoenix, I'm going to go Balloon, and Double Elixir is going to get me my Fireball pretty soon here. Uh, hopefully, we're just going to Fireball his Flying Machine right here. Um, I'm not too worried. Actually, I'm not going to Fireball the Flying Machine. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and zap this real quick just so we can get a quick Balloon hit. And now we are going to go with 
the just uh, let, let's just leave that for a second. Let's go Skelly Drags here. Let's go Lava. We are gonna get our egg back because he doesn't have arrows in hand. And so now we've got a mean looking counter push coming in here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, let's see what he's gonna put down for this. The Barbarians. Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and fireball that. I want that out of here as soon as possible. And let's go Phoenix as well uh, for his Skeleton Dragons. Why did I pronounce them like that? I'm sorry. That was a little weird. Now you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one of my favorite moves. We're gonna do Barb's in the pocket. It's totally skillful barbs in the pocket. Now you can't tombstone. Uh, okay, that's a weird play. Um, I wasn't expecting him to do that. Now his king tower is looking desperately low here. The egg might return. The egg might return. The egg is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. The phoenix is locked on almost. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's freaking go. Another good dub versus Betapa. He's probably a much better player than I am, I think. I haven't seen his finishes, but uh, let's go, dude. Let's go, we beat another Lava player, and uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty good matchup for us, but um, it definitely gets harder when we don't have the Mighty Miners switching lanes and speeding down the lanes. So, let's get into one more game, baby. And we actually hit 2,400 uh, tr medals, trophies, whatever you call them. I just call them trophies. 317 in the world, baby, um, with just a little bit of time left in the season. 10 days, so hopefully I can get a new best finish, uh, probably with this deck. Let's get into one last game. All right, last game versus Destroyer. Let's get it. Um, I ha could go Lava first play here. If I really wanted to, I could. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to have to Barbs there just because I have literally nothing else to play. And I can't get punished as hard uh, by playing Barbs than I can Fireball because he might be playing some Fireball Bait deck. You never know. So, uh, Goblin Gang, Dark Goblin, Skeleton King. Um, this is really interesting. I don't have any idea what he's playing here. The Skelly Dragons are going to get really nice value here, though. They are going to target the Skeleton King as well, so I believe I am fine to just go ahead and Lava. Um, let's see what he does for the Skelly Drags. Yep. Dude, the Skeleton Dragons got so much value. That is something I never thought I would say in my entire life, that the Skeleton Dragons got value. But they took care of the Mortar, Skeleton King, and Goblin Gang, baby. Now, let's go Phoenix. Take out these uh, Dark Goblins. Or not the Dark Goblins, the Goblin Gang. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then let's just go with the Lava behind here. As you can see, we did a beautiful job of taking that out. And we are going to get a bird back as well, so he can't punish us in the same lane for a little while. Now, this is going to be a problem if he does end up having the minion horde. Uh, it doesn't look like it right now, though. It doesn't look like he's playing the minion horde. So let's go ahead. We might be able to just... Sat this is a gamble here, but we might be able to... Oh, perfectly timed fireball. I was not expecting him to perfectly time a fireball there. That was good. I was taking a gamble and saying that we could just zap instead of fireballing the Dark Goblin. However, that didn't work. That's too bad. Um... But it didn't really affect us that much. I feel like he did a really good job with that fireball. So uh, good job to him. And uh, let's see. He does have the fireball. But he doesn't have it in hand right now. So the skeleton dragons should still be able to get some quite a lot of value. Now let's go lava. I'm thinking he still has another air counter. The bird. There it is. Okay. Now let's go drags here because he doesn't have fireball in cycle. Um, let's try and take out this uh, this guy. And let's also go with the phoenix to apply some pressure and uh, we are going to have to zap here. Um, yeah, so we are going to deal a little bit of damage. We're going to have to focus on the, taking out this Dark Goblin. And we chased after the one skeleton, so the bird is coming back. This is very not good. Very, very bad for us right now. Um, let's go fireball on that mortar. we got to try and take out this mortar. I'm spending a lot of elixir on the mortar, but I kind of have to. And uh, at least... Hmm. Okay, this is this is interesting. This is real interesting here because this Dark Goblin is not going to die. I don't think he's going to let it die. Wow, he did let it die. Interesting. So we're going to go Lava Hound, and then I'm going to try and Bull Rush him because this bird is coming back. So we're going to get help on defense. Let's go and let's Fireball this Dark Goblin. Let's do all we need to do. Just Fireball this Dark Goblin. Oh, and he's going to give us Mortar Value. This is huge. This is huge. We're going to go Barbarians as well. We're going to go Barbarians. We are going to stop his push. We are going to stop his push. We're going to go Zap at last second. Try and get that one more hit. And we get it. And we get it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, it's not enough. It's not enough. No. 13 HP, dude. I thought it was enough. No. No, dude. There is no way. All right, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. I've lost two in a row after that 13 HP loss, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> 
I'm, I'm so scared, dude. I'm so horribly scared right now, dude. I do not want to go into another tilt. The last time I had a match that ended that closely, it was against Dr. Puerto Rico in my pushing video just like three days ago, and we tilted 600 trophies. 600, dude. Oh my god, and and now it's just it's it's very scary, dude. It's very scary. I'm just hoping that this doesn't happen to me again. Uh, we are going to get some nice damage here. We're also going to get the queen pretty low. We might even take her out, and we do. So we get a nice couple of hits. Not much going for us there. Let's go balloon here. I'm um, going to force out his mortar so he can't use it on offense. And there is the mortar. Uh, let's also, you know, I don't think that's going to work. Let's just uh, go ahead and watch this take this out we might get death bomb here nice little death bomb and now he can't pressure us with this mortar so that's nice i'm so scared i need to win this match dude i'm not tilting again i'm not dropping more than three games in a row i am done it is over dude we're not doing it again i swear i'm not going to tilt again bro i hope not dude i'm so scared i i, I just like with 10 days left in the season, I just need to stay the course, man. Just need to stay the course. There's a couple bad matchups. I just need to do my best. We're going to barbs here, and hopefully he doesn't log it. Actually, if he logged it, I don't think it would have mattered there. We're going to go with the drags and uh, force out a poison from him, too. Um, we might even get a couple skelly drags hits because he... Oh, he played really smart here. He played really smart. The Skeleton Dragons only get one hit on the tower because he waited to use his Queen ability. That's a really good play by Bye Bye from the clan name that I don't think I should be saying as a Supercell creator. Um, let's think about this. Let's probably... We could go with another Balloon here. Let's see. We're going to go with another Balloon here. Um, we're going to go Phoenix on his Miner, and we're also going to go Tombstone. That is an interesting Queen, because now we can zap and get a nice Balloon hit here. That definitely changes things a little bit. That definitely changes things. So let's go Lava and tank for this Queen. And uh, yeah, that's good. That's looking good for us. Now let's also go with the Balloon here as soon as this Queen is out, because he will not have Queen for three more cards. He's got to play three more cards to get back to his Queen. The Knight is going to come back to the Egg, so the Drags are going to lock onto the Mortar. This is huge absolutely huge he's gonna try and get through i am gonna do my best to not let him get through though and he's got the goblins we got to worry about but i think this is gonna be a dub baby we played this really well and uh yeah i think this was i think this was pretty a pretty good matchup dude i really needed this uh win i really needed this win because i was about to go nuts if i was to lose four in a row so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, let me know what you want the next video to be, and let me know how I can improve my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful day or night.